here. Well, Linus quickly reminded her that someday she too could pass to leave. When this realization hit Lucy, she was stunned. She didn't know what to do, but she said she had a solution. She would turn off the TV loud, crawl into her beanbag chair with a bowl of ice cream, and refuse to think about it. Well, life is not that simple, for it is, mere, it is more than a mere comic strip with its fairy tale solutions. There are changes that must come and decisions that have to be made. And my heart's desire and prayer is that we are prepared, we are prepared mentally, emotionally, socially, and spiritually to face the challenges that are ahead. Someone has wisely said that the world will step aside for anyone who knows where they are going. I firmly believe that Christ can make a difference as well as add direction to our lives. We, the graduating class of 1988, take seriously Matthew 6.33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore, no matter what happens, we know that our faith will be the victory that overcomes these challenges. An unusual painting depicts a cattle boat ferrying its cargo across the swollen, angry river. The jagged lightning, the threatening clouds, the boisterous wind, winds, and the fright on the poor animals' faces are all graphically portrayed. It seems that destruction is imminent. But the title of this picture tells a different story. It reads, Changing Pastures. We, the graduating class of 1988, are doing exactly that. Changing Pastures. We have enjoyed... We have enjoyed the abundant blessings of caring classmates, encouraging family, and everything else that people have given to us. But now as we set sail on this uncertain sea of life, we are confident that through sound instruction and the truth of God's word, our God will be the rudder that, that guides our, our ship as we sail on the sea of life and as we change pastures. Finally, on behalf of the graduating class, let me say a special thank you to everyone who has made this moment possible. And let me say, as we bid farewell, our parting thought is, we are not afraid of tomorrow, for we have seen yesterday and we love today. Thank you. Thank you.